Support this podcast via our Patreon and get more writerly goodness. Visit patreon.com slash nanocast to join up. Welcome to NaNoWriMo Every Month. My name is J. Daniel Sawyer. I'm the author of some 20 books, 34 short stories, and numerous articles and other things. And I am your guide on this journey to use NaNoWriMo to level up to professional output levels. Welcome to The Questions, Episode 87. Today we're back into business territory, because Kane asks the question... Knowing it's highly unlikely that any of my, or anyone's really, IP will ever become famous enough to have licensed out, what are your thoughts on Creative Commons? In particular, what are your thoughts on using Creative Commons to generate interest and buzz? Well, Kane, there are actually three things here instead of the two questions you asked. The first one is, it is not highly unlikely that your IP will become famous enough to have licensed out. There are so many media companies in the world, and they are all, always looking for stuff. It may not be the most common thing that happens, but literally every writer in mid-career that I know except me has had offers and options from film studios, gaming studios, and that sort of thing. I haven't been out in the circles yet where those things start to happen, and I haven't aggressively pursued a lot of them because I've been exploiting a lot of my rights in-house. But there will come a time when that becomes a significant concern for us here at AWP, and that time is not too far away from now. Next year or two, that'll start to raise on our profile as we get other things ticking over, and the evil plans to dominate the world begin to come to fruition. (laughs) Anyway, it is actually very common to have your IP licensed out or optioned out from time to time, and you should not proactively discount that. Now that said, that's not mutually exclusive with using the Creative Commons. It just depends on what rights you decide to license out with Creative Commons. All of my podcasts, and all of the podcasts that uh, AWP Incorporated does, are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives License, which means that it's free to distribute and copy, but it's not allowed for anyone to make any money off it, or to remove my name or the company's name from the credits, or indeed to change the file in any way. So it basically means it's free to share with your friends, and that's it. If you're just using attribution, well, then people have to credit you, but they can remix, remake, adapt, transform, whatever. So if you release a podcast version of your novel or a PDF version of your novel under a Creative Commons attribution license then 20th Century Fox can snap that up and adapt the shit out of it, and there's not a thing you can do about it. I am a big believer in the Creative Commons. It's one of the reasons that I license my podcasts with a Creative Commons license. Part of it is accepting the reality that piracy happens and embracing it rather than railing against it and wasting a lot of energy. I think it can be a fantastic tool for generating buzz and collecting an audience. As Cory Doctorow said quite rightly, The greatest enemy of any artist is not piracy, it's obscurity. But for me, that is a world apart from allowing my intellectual property to slip into a situation where other companies can exploit it commercially, and I don't get a slice of it. If my IP is generating money, I want a piece. That's why I always use non-commercial licenses on the Creative Commons. Because commercial exploitation is different than fanish activity and enthusiasm. There are other people with different philosophies on this. They're worth reading. I personally haven't decided what I'm going to do when I die yet. I don't know if I'm going to keep my IP closely held or if I'm going to release it all into the Creative Commons. And if I do, under what license I would do that. It's an open question for me. I think it's going to depend for me a lot on how the marketplace develops over the next however long I live. Hopefully 40 or 50 years, maybe more. Modern medicine is a fantastic thing. But time will tell. Educate yourself on what the different licenses mean in the Creative Commons, and then be careful about which ones you use. Use the ones that you think will be advantageous, and keep in mind that once you release something under a given license, there's no take backsies. That's a contract that you've made with whoever downloads and uses that thing. So you may pull that property from the Creative Commons, 
but you've got no control at all over what the people who have downloaded it before you pulled it do within the terms of that license, because you've already given them the rights to do that, and you can't take them back. I hope that helps, and I'll see you tomorrow. NaNoWriMo Every Month is written and presented by J. Daniel Sawyer and produced by Artistic Whispers Productions. Visit our website at NaNoWriMoEveryMonth.com and leave a tip in the tip jar or join the Patreon to support this podcast. NaNoWriMo Every Month is copyright 2016 by J. Daniel Sawyer and Artistic Whispers Productions and is released under a Creative Commons non-commercial attribution no derivatives license.